Hey friends, thanks again for stopping by the house this week for another drink. Uh, I will say this, going into each of our episodes each week where we are reviewing and tasting a different spirit, in full transparency, I know that it's typically a spirit that I'm either drawn to because I absolutely love, or it's one that I've never tried before. And I'm really interested. I'm really curious to see if I'm going to like it. This week is a little different. And it's different because you assure me that it is different. Because I am historically not a fan of this kind of spirit. Well, this one is absolutely different for a whole multitude of reasons. Okay. Your typical experience with an Irish whiskey is going to be on St. Patty's Day, and it's typically going to be some of the other more popular, not quite craft spirits. So, what we're reviewing today is Writer's Tears Copper Pot Irish Whiskey. So it's an Irish whiskey and it's made with 100% barley, just like a scotch, but unlike scotch whiskey, Irish whiskey uses a blend of malted barley and unmalted barley. Interesting, okay. So malted barley really just is, you kind of let it sprout a little bit. It gives a different flavor profile, a fuller flavor, if you use malted barley as opposed to unmalted. And because Irish whiskey uses a blend of both of those, it's renowned for its smooth flavor and hints of vanilla. Two things that I'm a fan of. Vanilla and smooth <laughs> flavor. And this one is especially smooth. So Copper Pot is actually triple distilled it's not peated at all. And then it's matured in American oak bourbon casks. Well, you just won me over with that. <laughs> and if that didn't win you over, it's even listed on uh, Ian Buxton's publication called 101 Whiskeys to Try Before You Die. Has anything else that we've drank on that list or is this the first box we're checking i think we've got to get a copy of that publication and start going down the list we need to yeah <laughs> i feel like we're really behind the curve here i mean this particular spirit has won a multitude of awards uh so many that i didn't really want to list them well I i'm particularly a fan of the name I mean, writer's tears is pretty cool uh, it, and it's really in homage for the writers and playwrights of the 19th century who sought everything from inspiration and comfort from their local water holes. Now, Writer's Tears is made by Walsh Whiskey. Uh, one thing that I love about this, and I always say that one thing I love about each of the histories because there's one little piece that really stands out. And this one is a little different than some of the others that we've talked about mm -hmm. because it's husband and wife. And that's a little, little odd, or I'd say it's a little out of character for a number of different whiskeys. It's usually friends or um, other family members, but a husband and wife is different. So I really like that, but uh, Bernard and Rosemary Walsh they are the ones that founded this in 1999. And their philosophy is tied to their family motto of never say die. You gotta love that. You just gotta love that. It seems to be a common theme for some of those that we talk about that it's just an undying spirit of those that came before them and putting out the best thing that you could put out. Uh, and you know, they have pillars of perseverance, creativity, forward-looking, genuine, integrity, and to be considered. Uh, all pretty strong pillars. 
Mm -hmm. I love those. It, it definitely says something about Bernard and Rosemary. That perseverance ties right into their family motto as well. Just never give up. Yep, Keep absolutely. Going. And producing premium and super premium triple distilled spirits. Uh, and one thing you told me, which I thought was pretty interesting, but why is it pretty interesting considering the amount of people that drink in this country? But USA is their number one market. Uh, it, it's really, really weird. Uh, <laughs> but I should start to get used to that by now. Uh, and they have multiple varieties of writer's tears and the Irishman is another one of theirs. Yes. And all of them that they come out, it doesn't matter which label of writer's tears or which label of the Irishman you get. They're all premium, super premium, triple distilled craft Irish whiskey. And they use that copper pot still, that traditional still. Hmm. I'm ready to go ahead and try this. Well, do you want me to tell you how it, it tastes? Yes, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> tell me how it tastes before I taste it. <laughs> yes. So, Irish whiskey is going to be generally pretty, pretty smooth. This is absolutely one of the smoothest that I've tasted. And it's right there in our regular budget dollar range of $40. That's it. Okay. I like so, it. So when you're putting it on the nose and you're giving it a, a smell, you're going to smell just a little flash of apple and then that hint of vanilla. Mm. Just very, very light. Mm. When you're tasting it, you're going to taste just a gentle spice of ginger, butterscotch, and those orchard fruits tying back into that appleiness. And then the finish is going to be long. It's not spicy. It's going to be long and elegant and have those little notes of chocolate and almonds. Long and, ele and elegant. Long and elegant. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. You really kind of put this pretty high. <laughs> it is on a pedestal. <laughs> <It's just true. laughs> Plus, I just love their bottle logo and designs. It is pretty cool. Really cool. I mean, even the labels look like old parchment or paper <laughs> that writers used to write on. So I like it. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. You get the light fruit. The light fruit, uh, the vanilla was instant. That's, that's really a lot of what I smell is just the vanilla. Which is just, I mean, you know how much I love vanilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to have that as an overwhelming piece on the nose mm -hmm. is very good. All right, I got it. Okay. Midway through is where I picked up on the apple mm -hmm. and you get that spice hit just almost instant or yeah, i do yeah yes the spice first the apple it is very smooth very little warmth on the back end of it um it's and that finish that lingering finish is not peppery it's not harsh it's just light and lasts it yeah. is lingering i i would i would say that it is like a light flavored bourbon because you get the hints of the bourbon barrels that they use so it's not as strong it is 
very smooth, airy. Very easy to sip on. Yeah. Very easy to drink. Yeah. And uh, Copper Pot is a little bit different than some of the other spirits we reviewed. Uh, it is 40% alcohol by volume, which makes it 80 proof. And it's a very standard proof for whiskey in general. Scotches tend to be a little bit higher and anything cask strength obviously is going to be higher and our bonded whiskey obviously is higher than this. So this is just smooth, light, easy drinking. If you're looking to get back into Irish whiskey or you're looking to try a new Irish whiskey, this is definitely, this is it. This is your good go-to budget premium Irish whiskey. Yeah. Not one that is incredibly commonly known out there that is mostly ordered at the bars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, because that's that's typically what people know. And and I'll I'll say Jameson's. Mm -hmm. That's mostly what people know, whether that's what they've drank or that's what they've heard yep. other people say. It tends to be the go-to. You see a lot of the the Irish whiskeys that are more commonplace, and that has to do with uh, marketing, just movie, ad placement, where you see them, going to the bar, and you all, you're you pretty much always going to see a bottle of Jameson's at the bar. Sometimes you're going to see a bottle of Tullamore Dew, which in my opinion is a step above Jameson's. And then way in a category all its own is Writer's Tears. Yeah. So one thing that each of you will get from these episodes and, and our channel overall with these is we're not going to bring just your common named brand spirits that everyone knows about but to kind of introduce you to something different add a little bit of history and backstory about these so you can continue to expand you know, your own liquor cabinet or your own bar to something different, potentially better. <laughs> Absolutely. This is definitely one of those Irish whiskeys. If you've had a long day or God forbid, you're trying to write a thesis and you're drawn to tears <laughs> trying to write it. This is definitely one of those nice comfort warming beverages yeah that will help you get through it just feels like a warm hug to me <laughs> we've got to talk about this <laughs> <laughs> well share your thoughts and comments have you had writer's tears before or other iris whiskeys that you are really uh drawn to you really enjoy that we should try as well I know a couple of those. Well, I'm sure that you do. <laughs> but I, this right here absolutely changes my perception of it. Yes. Um, I really do like this. This it, is one that I could put with a whiskey ball and It really is a flavor. It. You can't compare it to a lot of the other Irish whiskeys, especially those that are commonplace. This is a true craft spirit. I love it. Give it a try. Definitely. Are you ready to call it a night and enjoy a little bit more? Oh, yes. All right. Thank you all for joining us. Have a great night.